it's really hard to get the right amount of labels in your dashboards, right? Because you can overdo it or you can, you know, fail at, at presenting the numbers. This one, you see, it has practically no labels. So I don't have a label here, here. Uh, the pie charts are completely without the labels. There's not even a legend. So you need some labels. Otherwise, again, people will have to go with their mouse over the, over the dashboard and see each, each label. And worse, of course, if somebody will print this or uh, produce a PDF or, uh, or a PowerPoint presentation or something, you know, all the details of, of the numbers will be lost. So you need a right amount of labels. So this one has no labels at all, which is not, not okay. In this case, we have some labels this chart has labels here but for example this one does not and this one also does not if you have some labels here you know maybe maybe you should put some labels here you know not necessary every label right not necessary i mean sometimes this can be too much as we can see in my next uh, example here way too many labels here the, the labels are overlapping uh, labels should not be overlapping at any point it's actually nice because it uh, tries to compare some you know direct hours with schedule hours so there's some sort of uh, comparison here over time but the problem is that now this is a this is a combination chart there's a column chart and then then we have this line chart on top of it so it's combined and then every series in this chart has the labels and this will always overlap you have no control uh, when you overlap things in, in data visualization, uh, you have very, very poor control over, over the labels where, you know, where each data point will be at certain point of time or the user will filter and everything will change. So this is, of course, way, way, way too much. So not every freaking label. These were the data labels. So the, the numbers, you need to strike the right balance, right? Then the next problem, and especially in Power BI, I, I see a lot of that. Um, for example, here, Again, my labels are tilted. This time it's actually a time series chart, but the labels are tilted because uh, the labels are too long, right? In this case, I want to retain this chart, so it's, it's okay that it should run left uh, to right, but the labels are too long. So uh, the solution here is very, very simple. Just use Jan, Fab, Mar. You will have short labels, uh, you know, Jan, March and so on and you will you know always be able to present labels in a readable legible way so that everybody can can read them okay of course this means that uh, you have to do something in your power bi model or you know you have to make sure that your data um, that your data contains a time dimension and this time dimension has uh, short month names right so you need to make sure that you have this in, in power bi otherwise all of your charts will will look like this right and this is obviously not okay so it's worth spending you know uh, 15 minutes or or half an hour and fix your time dimension so typically i i see this in like with uh long month names right so don't use long month names do not, do not, do not. And the second one is if people just put the time, uh, the date time field into um, uh, into their axis labels, right? So the problem here is the uh, axis, axis label, right? And um, sometimes, you know, people just put uh, the whole date, like 2018, uh, 1st of January, uh, and then 2018, 2nd of January, just break it down and put separately year and the quarter and the month and then uh, the day, right? So, and then hopefully uh, the visuals will be able to display those uh, dates in a better way.